Hi and welcome to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to check that the user has entered data into a form using the isSet function um, which is an inbuilt PHP function. So basically um, what we're going to do is check for set values. So for this example I'll create a form with radio buttons and it'll be like a little quiz and the user must select an answer from one of the options. So um, then we can have some code that will check that they've selected an option and if they haven't it will tell them to um, pick an answer and um, complete the form again. Otherwise if they have selected an option it will check their answer and tell them if they got it right or wrong. So to start with I've got two files here index.php okay and um, in that I've got some HTML code I've got the head section, a title um, and I've got the body section where I'm about to um, place the form. Okay, then I also have an actionhandler.php file, which will be used to um, handle the form data or take the form data and process it. Okay, so in the body section, I'm going to add a form. So I'll need the form tag and the action will be this PHP file. So the PHP file will take the form data and handle it. So that's action underscore handler.php. That's the form action. And then we're going to use the post method to process that form. Okay, I'll just send the form data. Okay, I'll add a, um, a paragraph, and then in this paragraph, what we'll do, whoops, I just gotta finish off that quotation mark there, that's better. Okay, so in this paragraph, we'll put the um, question, and I'm going to ask um, the user to tell me what is the capital city of Australia? Okay, whoops. Okay, so I've got a paragraph there with a question. Then we can um, put input type equals. And for this, because I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give about three different options and there's only one correct answer. So I'm gonna use radio buttons where you can only select one answer. So the input type is radio. Name, we'll make it equal to capital because the question's about a capital city. Um, and value, well, first one, we'll make Sydney, so we'll put the wrong answer in first. Um, and then, so that's the value on the radio button, and then next to that we'll have the text Sydney, next to that radio button, and the break tag to start a new line, and on the next line we'll have another radio button, so we can just copy that code, paste it, paste it again, and basically just change the value. So I have Sydney, Canberra, which is the correct answer, and then lastly we'll have Melbourne. Okay, so there's three options there to pick from to answer this question. I'll just get rid of that last break tag there because I'm going to put the submit button inside a paragraph tag so that will put it on a new line. So we can say input type equals submit. And so when, this, um, when the user clicks on the submit button, their answer will be sent to this file, actionhandler.php, and processed there. Okay, so that's um, basically it. Just need to cl close off the form tag. You can save that and we can go and um, have a look at the file. And that's what it looks like so far. So I've got the question, then we've got um, answers here. We've got to pick one answer and then click on submit. Now, if we go to the action underscore handler file, we can start adding the code there to um, firstly check whether um, the user has selected an answer. All right, and if they have, um, then we can check what their answer was and tell them whether they were right or wrong. So, start with, I'll have an if statement, and inside that we'll use the isSet function to check that the user has selected an option or entered some data. So we can say if is set, okay? And then inside brackets, again, dollar sign underscore post all right and then in square brackets we need to put in the name of the radio button so they're all the same name capital whoops what's going on there so inside those quotation marks we'll put capital um, and then after that we can put in what we want to happen if that's true so we've got if is set post capital so basically it will say 
capital. So we'll make a new variable called capital equals dollar sign post capital. Okay, so what's going on here is basically if um, if this evaluates to true, so if they have selected an option, the value is set, the selected one answer, then we'll create a new variable called capital, which will be um, using the post method, it will find out what they've selected and store that. Okay, else, so if they haven't selected an option, then capital will be set to null. Okay, so capital equals null. All right, so that's the first part. So we've got an if statement there, um, and then we have an else statement. After that, we can have another statement. And this time what we'll say is if capital is not equal to null. All right, so basically if it's not equal to null, if there is a value stored inside that variable, so the user has selected something, inside that we can place another if statement. We can say if capital uh, is not equal to Canberra, And then we can just return the message or display the message that capital is incorrect. So whatever they answered is incorrect if they haven't answered Canberra. Okay. Um, else, echo capital is correct. Okay. Um, and then lastly, we'll have an else statement. Okay, so we've got that. Um, yep, yeah, so lastly we'll have an else statement at the bottom here. Let's say echo, you must select an answer. Okay, so that's if they haven't selected anything. All right, so basically what's going on here? So we've got an if statement that checks if a value has been set in the form. So if the user selected an option. If it has been set, then we'll create a variable called capital and set that equal to whatever the value was. So whichever value has been selected, either um, one of these ones, Sydney, Canberra, or Melbourne. Okay. Otherwise, if a value has not been set, we'll set capital to null. Then we check if capital is not equal to null. So if it's not equal to null, we'll then go and check whether it's not equal to Canberra. And if it's not equal to Canberra, then we'll tell the user that the answer that they chose is incorrect. Otherwise, if it, then we'll say capital is correct. Otherwise, if it's um, null, in other words, no value has been selected, then we'll tell them to select an answer. So we'll save that, we'll refresh that page, and we'll pick firstly an incorrect option, submit, it says Sydney is incorrect, we'll go back, pick Melbourne, it says Melbourne is incorrect, this time we'll pick Canberra, which is the correct option, submit, and it says Canberra is correct. Okay, so a few things that we've done there. Firstly, we've used the isSet function to make sure that the user has selected an option or set a value. All right, so we're checking for set values. And then we've gone on to check whether um, whether the option uh, was that the user selected was the right answer. Okay, so check which radio button they've selected. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, look out for some more tutorials on forms. Um, in the next tutorials, we'll be looking at uh, data validation and also um, working with um, PHP forms in, and form handling in one file. Okay, so we'll also look at that. We'll also look at working with other different types of form uh, inputs. Um, so larger text boxes or text areas, passwords, um, check boxes and so on before we move on to using MySQL um, to store information in a database. That's all for this tutorial though. Thanks for watching.